Hi guys. Asana and Jira are two project management tools, but which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between Asana and Jira, and we'll consider four criteria to see how these two tools stack up. We'll leave the link in the description, you can use it. You can start with the free version, and if you like it more, you can upgrade risk-free. Thank you for using the links in the description. So, let's find out which is better for you. And let's start with the pricing. Both tools offer a free plan. With Jira, as long as you have fewer than 10 users, you get a practically complete suite of management tools free of charge. We imagine that plenty of small teams could get by on this just fine. Asana's free tip isn't as good. It's a lot more complete than others, but you'll probably be looking to upgrade a lot sooner than you would with Jira. There are a few very useful features locked away behind the first premium paywall. As such, we're going to declare Jira the winner of the free plan sub-competition, but only for software developers. As far as the paid plan, Asana offers services under three paid plans, premium, business and enterprise, varying from $13.49 to $30.49 per user per month if billed monthly. The enterprise subscription can be personalised and the price is based on the services you plan to use. Asana annual subscriptions offer a discount. For example, you will pay $10.99 per user per month if billed yearly, compared to $13.49 per user per month if billed monthly for the premium plan. Asana offers its software as a free trial for 30 days before requiring payment. Jira provides the same three plans as Asana's at a lower price range. However, Jira's fee falls in the range of $7.75 to $15.25 per user per month if billed monthly. Annual subscriptions may offer a discount depending on the number of users purchased. Jira offers its software as a free trial for seven days before requiring payment. And for the features. Jira is very popular with the development and engineering communities. While Asana is popular with small and scaling teams looking to manage a variety of projects in a single place. Non-software teams may find Asana more applicable to their work management needs. Asana offers video conferencing, discussion boards, calendars, content, and contact management, while Jira does not. Document management and real-time editing are also capabilities offered by Asana and not Jira. On the other hand, Jira is an excellent choice for teams seeking an advanced project management tool for software development. It offers advanced issue tracking capabilities and many other agile focused features that Asana does not. Asana has a minimalistic, easy to navigate interface. It's more user friendly for non-technical teams, making it a great collaboration tool for all teams across the broader organization. Its workflow builder lets you automate your work processes and easily coordinate with teammates to meet deadlines. Using the workload feature, you can track how much work each team member has on their plate, set goals, and report on the project's progress in a jiffy. Other advanced features such as custom fields, task dependencies, and tagging are available with the upgraded business, premium, and enterprise versions. Jira is a better option if you're a software team looking for an agile-focused tool. It lets you create scrum boards where you can break down large, complex projects into various subtasks and has Kanban boards to deliver insights into tasks. Some other notable features include visual roadmaps, multiple scenario planning, and resource management. With Jira's robust integration with Git, software teams can view code and deployment statuses at a glance. Jira gives you complete DevOps visibility from the planning stage through to the coding, deployment, operation, and collaboration phases of a software project. So Jira and Asana both offer a great feature set. However, Asana has the edge over Jira due to the higher number of utilities. And for the team member management, Jira, of course, lets you assign whomever you want to your board. Just enter their name and email. You can also add a picture. But filtering by team members only gives you the tasks assigned to them. In comparison, Asana can show you what they're doing, when, as well as compare the workload of individual team members with each other using the eponymous view. Of course, there are only the most important features. There are plenty more. For example, there's a built-in time tracking app called Harvest, as well as the portfolio view, which enables you to get a bird's eye view of several projects at once. However, there are two things to keep in mind when comparing the features of Asana and Jira. 
The first is that Gyra unlocks most abilities in the free plan, while Asana guards its features jealously behind several tiers of payment. The second thing is that Gyra can get a lot done with integrations. And for the integrations, both Asana and Gyra integrate with a number of leading apps and products across the web. They both will meet your demand with basic needs like integrations to Google Drive or Microsoft Teams. Asana has done a nice job of integrating with most apps of any substantial size that you might want to connect with and is easily the best option if you're looking to integrate pretty widely. Gyra, however, has focused a lot on its integrations on things that product teams will need, like Miro or GitHub. This will exponentially speed up your project management if your purpose is to manage and push out new product features. One of the interesting things to consider is that Asana and Gyra integrate with each other. Your business could potentially use both products and let them work together. This could be the right choice if you have large projects that involve more than just a product team, but that team wants to use Gyra to streamline their own internal processes. So choosing between Asana and Gyra depends on your business and your needs. Both tools come with advantages and disadvantages, so there's no best solution. It will depend on your current needs. Each has its own specific market fit. Gyra is most widely used by engineering and product teams because it is designed specifically for their needs. Asana is used by companies of all sizes to manage projects and specific tasks across functions and teams. Asana will be a better fit for most businesses and teams, but Gyra should be a strong candidate if it meets your specific use case. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. And hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, please leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too. And goodbye for now.